What's good, Royals Nation? I'm Cappy and Cardi. After all the standout moments Queens delivered this past month, we can't help but give a Royals recap without a little madness. Queens men's basketball punched their second straight ticket to the ASUN Championships, and history would repeat itself as the Royals rode past the Eagles in round one, then would conclude their season in the quarterfinals against the reigning ASUN champs. Good job, fellas. The Queens swimming program wrapped up their season at the National Invitational Championships. The men came in second place, and the women finished at fourth, jumping up a solid six places from last NICs. Inside Curry Arena, Coach Jeremy Price secured his 200th career win, and grad student standout Jack Breekman earned the all-time program kills leader title after defeating Barton 3-2 earlier this month. At the 49ers Classic, sophomore Jake Nutzel broke the Queens program record in discus throws, not once, but three times in a single day. I don't know about you, but Royals Nation is feeling number 22, Kayleen Favreau. The sophomore reached 100 career points and helped the Royals gain four victories during March. Queens men's lacrosse took care of conference business, taking down Lindenwood. Sophomore Brendan Nate says it's important to keep this perspective. Try and get uh, everything going all at once. We're a very young team, so we, we're, we know we're going to make some mistakes, but it's just all about learning and growing from them. At the tennis court, the men's squad secured six straight team wins over the past month. Freshman Ron Made is the only Royal to match the winning streak in singles play. Queens baseball started out the month competing under the bright lights at Atrium Health Ballpark. Later, the Royals would set a program record of 22 runs in the series finale at Austin P, earning Coach Hendrick and the Royals their first ASUN victory. Softball earned their first ASUN series win over North Florida, and pitcher Autumn Courtney finished the month as the leader in D1 strikeouts. And you want to know what her secret to success is? Just wait. I'm not a very superstitious person. Just a little stitious? A little bit. I do love hacky sack. Like, I tell the coach all the time, if we don't play hacky sack before the game, it's not going to be good. For the latest, follow at Queens Athletics. Thanks, y'all.